Hey everyone, this is Marco, Alessio, and we're gonna continue uh, the Dio tribute show, the second part. Uh, which is to Alex? Which is to you the best uh, Dio era Black Sabbath album? Uh, Dio era. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Absolute Eleven and Del. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, somebody. What can what can I say about this album? To me, I have to say I prefer Ozzy era with Sabbath, of course. But uh, to me, this is not only the best Sabbath album. This is to me the best heavy metal album period. I'm Absolutely. Yes. Thank you, Terence. Uh, your opinion Terence. doesn't really give a fuck. I give really a fuck about opinion. Uh, what can I say? Uh, Rising was more than a hard rock, kind of progressive rock album. Not really heavy metal, I would say. This album to me is the perfect, absolutely the, the pinnacle, the pinnacle of heavy metal. Uh, so uh, this is the first Dio album with. Uh, the first Black Sabbath album with Ronnie James Dio uh, after uh, Halsey was fired and uh, what can I say this is the best heavy metal album period <laughs> what, can I, what can I add more about this <laughs> what, can, what can I add uh, more than this uh, are you gonna start with the first track yes right. Neon Knights what do you think about Neon Knights oh a great, a great track absolutely a great opening. yeah absolutely <laughs> this is to me tied with uh, Sabbath plus Sabbath as the best opening for a Black Sabbath album. Uh, 10 out of 10, absolutely. What do you think about Shade of the Sea? Oh, great. Epic uh, song, absolutely. Epic. 10 out of 10. We lost the children lost of the, the sea. sea. Great vocal performance by the, 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 late, great, the late great Ronnie James Dio. 10 out of 10, absolutely. And the guitar solo makes me fucking cry. Yes, I'm a sensible guy and I, <laughs> and I want to make love with you, Alessio. Oh, Terence, sorry. Oh. <laughs> What do you think about uh, Lady uh, Evil? What do you think about Lady, Lady Evil? Uh, Lady Evil, uh, great one. Uh, the bass. The bass is the cool, bass yes. Is don, don, don. Very charming, no, very no, no, swaggy. No, no, no. Uh, Lady Evil will be my least favorite chocolate album, but still a 9.5 out of 10. Very catchy and uh, amazing, amazing song. And now, Heavy Metal's Magnum Opus. There is just one song, just one Heavy Metal song that I prefer all this track, and it's called Diary of a Madman by Ozzy Osbourne. But to me, this is Heavy Metal Magnum Opus along, the, along with that one, the, the track. Uh, to me, this almost seven minute plus epic incorporates perfect was uh, what incorporates perfectly what Heavy Metal is all is all about. Epicness. Heavy, heavy, the, the heavy riff, the epicness of the mm -hmm. song, the great vocal performance by Ray Lorne and James Dio, and the, the guitar solo, and oh, what the fucker, the, the ending part of the song is just mm -hmm. bone chilling, it's that good. Absolutely 3 billion out of 10. This is my second favorite song of all time. Uh, what do you think about Evan and Del? Oh, great. Don't mess that bitch. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10? Yeah, absolutely. So it's on and, and on, on and on. It's ever and ever. What do you think about Wishing Well? Uh, great one. Amazing song, 10 out of 10. Period. Yeah, the guitar great. bass. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wishing yeah. Well. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what do you think about Die Young? Uh, great one. My fourth favorite Shakespeare album. Epic, epic, perfection. Epic, perfection. Great epic, perfection. perfection. Yes, I'm a robot. I'm a fuck. <laughs> because this song is the fucking amazing. This song is a fucking amazing, this song is fucking amazing, this song is fucking amazing. It's a perfect <laughs> song, 10 out of 10, absolutely. The ending makes me fucking, I don't know, makes me fucking, I'm only, I'm only about this song. I'm a fucking only bitch. <laughs> 10 out of 10, even 12 out of 10. What do you think about Walk Away? Walk Away. Oh, sorry, what do you think about Die Young? Sorry, Terence, what do you think um, about Die Young? Die Young, no, great, 10 out of 10. Absolutely, yes. yes. And now, walk, walk Away. Away. Yeah. Walk Away is a lot of people, this okay. favorite chocolate sabu, not mine, second, would, but why? Well, it will be my second list for Chocolate album, still uh, almost a 10. I will give this song just for this a 9.5 out of 10. What do you think about, uh, but it's an amazing song. What do you think about Walk Away? Great one. Absolutely yeah, amazing song. And now... Uh, the perfect, the perfect, perfect, perfect ending for a Black Sabbath album. Lonely is the world. Motherfucker mm. epic track. Definitely in my top... Oh. oh, I have to say one thing. Neon Knights is almost in my top five favorite, favorite Black Sabbath song. Ever and There, it's obviously my favorite Black Sabbath song, period. And Lonely is the world is also in the top 10. Uh, Die Young will be my almost top 10, like a top 15. 
12, uh, 13, I have to say. Lonely Stewart is my fourth favorite Chocolate album, and this song is screaming, it screams fucking perfection. The solo is amazing. Probably my favorite yeah. guitar solo that Third Dome, Tony Dome has ever done. Probably, mm, at, at least tied with uh, a couple of the ones. Uh, 10 out of 10, absolutely. Agree with me? Agree. So, in conclusion, this is the best Black Sabbath TR album ever. It will be the, black, the best metal album period and the best. Uh, the best metal period, as I say. Uh, so, in conclusion, I to give this album obviously a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. So, in conclusion, uh, Alessio, what would be uh, mine and your favorite uh, Dio album during the solo, solo stuff? You're gonna find that soon. This was Marco, Alessio. Terence, goodbye. Yeah. I'm, now we're making love. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, people. <laughs>